Hi everybody, I'm Kim Bourgeois Landry. Welcome to the Wonky Quilter. Today, I'm so excited. And um, it has, uh, I don't know, it'll take me a kind of a minute to explain to you why I'm excited, but I just got some fabrics in today and I haven't looked at them yet. I did, however, open the box in the kitchen because I'm in the sewing room and tape cannot be cut in the sewing room even with kitchen scissors. No paper, no tape, no cardboard cut in this general area. Must be taken to a different location. So it's been open. I swear I haven't looked at it. This box is from Jaff Tax, directly from Mr. Scott Fortunoff. It's so exciting. So first off, welcome um, I'm so happy that you're here with me this afternoon. Um, I'm hoping that you'll like this video, and if you do, please share it on your Facebook page or on your YouTube channel or tell your friends about it. They might like it too. I call myself the Wonky Quilter, but it's not really about quilting. This is just about my life in general, and quilting happens to be a huge piece of pie in that, um, a huge slice out of that pie of my life. And today's a happy day. I happen to be a really big fan of Pepper Cory. I was introduced to Pepper Cory quite by, ac by accident, I guess, um, cosmic on purpose, um, by a Facebook page called Celebrate Hand Quilting. That's all that happens on the page, is celebrating hand quilting, hand stitching, hand sewing. Really, it's about quilting, but it's about people who still enjoy and flourish and teach and learn about the joys of stitching by hand. And the joys are many, let me just tell you that. Well. Um, I kept listening to answers, and this woman wasn't on it all the time. People would refer to her. Hello, Miss Corey, are you here? Hello, can you answer this question, Pepper? And she would when she did answer questions, um, she was very generous with her time answering questions, but she wasn't there all the time, but people called out for her. Um, and it was easy for me to remember her name in all of these. There's like 20,000 members, I think minimum of 20,000 members to this page. Hand stitching is not a dying art. Do you hear me? It's not, it's not what gets talked about the most because, you know, the people who are putting out a lot of advertising, they're people who are making machinery and they have big money and big money is spent on the machinery. Hand quilting is kind of, um, I don't want to say less expensive. Fabric's expensive. Um, time is expensive. Um, but it doesn't get talked about because not as much money changes hands. It's not a dying art, however. Okay, so I remembered this woman um, because her name is Pepper Corey. Pepper, hello, how cute is that? I mean, not cute, it's kind of elegant and kind of timeless, but you know, I don't know many peppers, so I just thought that that was a name I could remember. And her answers were spot on all the time and straight to the point, kind of laser, not a whole lot of words like I use, just flowering up the thing with extra words. She just would get right to the point and was real sensible. And one time I was showing a quilt top, I collect quilt tops, so I was showing a quilt top that I had, um, purchased and people kept calling out for Pepper. I bet Pepper will know how old it is. I bet Miss Corey will know. Hello, Miss Corey, Miss Corey. And sure enough, she came on. She was like, I think it's this old. I think this is a such and such fabric. And I think it's from this time period. And you know, I see you showed the stitches and the stitching reminds me and blah, blah, blah. And I was just like, man. Um, and I just started kind of fangirling, watching her answers. And then I looked her up online which that's the thing to do because, I mean, she's written like, I don't know how many, but I'm gonna say like eight, 10, maybe 15 books, I don't know. Um, she is uh, highly knowledgeable. I'm gonna call her an expert, I don't know. She'd call herself an expert on um, um, antique quilts, age of fabrics. 
She is a an expert hand quilter. She does uh, Japanese stitching. She teaches all of those things. She's got a beginning DVDs. And I think she also um, works with one company, I can't remember the name, where she, um, what are they called? Anyway, templates for um, shapes to hand quilt. You know, I am only doing kind of um, echo quilting, so I'm not even paying attention to that. And she has fabrics that um, are licensed under Studio E. Studio E is under, under the umbrella of Jatex, who sent me these fabrics. So I looked her fabrics up. Oh my God, they're my favorite things. So I don't buy many fabrics new. Those of you who listen to my show, I like, I try to buy old fabrics that have been discarded, little, you know, um, scraps. I'm a scrap quilter, I'm a scrappy girl. But these fabrics are amazing. So I've studied the fabrics and where, they, where they're produced and I plan on studying. This was like three or four years ago that I was introduced to Miss Corey, but um, I'm gonna study with her uh, at market, not market, but festival, um, this year in Houston in 2019, because she's going to be teaching, I think, three or four half-day classes there, and I'm going to take as many as I can. Um, I can't sign up for them until June, but that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so because I'm such a fan of hers, okay, put that aside a minute. Um, a fan requested, or whatever, face Facebook requested to be a friend with um, Scott Fortunoff because I mean he puts out all the great fabrics and he's he um, that's a couple of years ago I guess well he was talking about just recently having a Jeopardy type game he's gonna have 33 questions 33 answers and give away 33 fabulous prizes on Sunday at such and such time and I said oh okay I'm gonna attend that well I forgot it was about halfway over when I remembered to go um, to the Jaff Text page and it was already in process and going. And after I, I mean, I missed more than half of it. And about three questions in, after I started watching, he started talking about Pepper Corey and he said, it's not peppered cottons. She does pepper cottons, they're great fabrics um, that I love. Um, he said, he asked, that's not what the question is. Please tell me if you know where they are produced. And I knew all the hair on the back of my neck that I don't have stood up. Believe me, it's like phantom pains or something. I still can feel the hair on the back of my neck or my arms lift when I'm um, excited or, you know, freaked out or gross or scared. All of those senses still happen even though the hair is not there. I just wrote in, what is India? You know, and I think I remembered, I only saw it one time online, but I associate India um, with textiles that are fabulous and so colorful, rich in color and um, like the peppered cottons are. So when I heard that, I went, well, of course they're made in India. You know, of course. So anyway, I answered that question first and I won a prize. And the prize was um, a 15 piece fat quarter set um, from Anna Marie Horner's line called The Conservatory. And I believe these are not all by Anna Marie Horner, but she has gone to several of her friends or people that she knew that she thought were fabulous artists, not just textile um, artists, but um, you know, graphic designers and painters and you know, and had them design a line. I read somewhere as I was waiting for these fabrics, because it's been about at least three weeks, maybe a month since this happened, three weeks maybe, um, that she had said um, that she was looking for artists who made beautiful art to make beautiful fabric. So that just makes sense to me. So here's the box. I thought we could um, look at them together. I really know nothing about the line, so here we go. The conservatory, or maybe just conservatory from Anna Marie Horner and free oh my gosh these are colors that I love I mean look at this wall back here look at that 
And, you know, this is just a fabulous feeling because I buy little scraps of material. Do you see that bag right there? Next time we're online, I'm going to show you these fabrics because this comes from a scrap bucket at my local quilting store that I buy 99 cents an ounce. And this is how I buy most of my fabrics. I'm not going to say I've never purchased fabrics because I do have a fat quarter set coming from Peppercorn that I had bought just a couple days before this contest that, um, I saw somebody made a post um, somewhere on Twitter or something that some quilting store was putting them together, fat quarter sets. Um, and when they come in, I'll show you those two because believe me, that's some gorgeous fabrics. Okay, back to the point. Here they are. Look at the colors. These are by Free Spirit, Anna Marie Horner. Oh, this is prize number 28. <laughs> that was question number 28, evidently. It says, free spirit, snap and share. Snap, share, and tag. Yes, and that's what I'm asking you to do for my page too, free spirit. So I am snapping some pictures. Oh, I don't wanna even tear this. I don't usually get big fat quarter sets like this. It is an exciting feeling. How did y'all feel the first time you bought your fat quarter sets? Like a whole set. I bought fat quarters at um, classes you know, one or two at a time to finish a project I was working on at like a retreat, but nothing like this. It doesn't say, I wish it said what the collection was. Anna Marie Horner Conservatory, Fat Quarter Conservatory. Hmm. I don't know, I can't see where it says the name of this particular line of the conservatory. But let's look at these fabrics. Purple, look at that. I mean, gorgeous. Oh, look, here it is. I guess this is telling you I'm a new quilter. I should have looked on the, on the edge of it. English Garden by the conservatory. can't even open it. Yeah, there's gonna be some ability to fussy cut in here for sure. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at this one. Isn't that beautiful? Ah. See, I like solids, that's why I like Peppercory's fabrics, but I also like little, um, I would call this um, a smaller pattern, and I like that very much. I don't know what, 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 what. This is beautiful. Um, I do love a good green. I mean, what don't I love? You know, I'm a girl all about love. What can I say? Oof, English summer. Isn't that beautiful? This is really pretty. And you get plenty of place too of a, a solid pieces. If you're making little small, you know, I'm a scrappy quilter, so um, I don't know how. Ooh, this is gorgeous. And this, oh, this is some pretty stuff. Look at that, what a nice color combination. Oh, Anna Marie Horner, I'm loving your business stuff here. This is some pretty fabrics. Oh, this is one of my grandmother's favorites. Oh, she would just be so delighted to see that. The conservatory, or it, it is just conservatory. It's not the conservatory. This has lots and lots of purples in it. By nature, I don't know. I'm not always drawn to the purples as much as most people are, but I'm gonna tell you, these things are kicking it. Lots of beautiful, like this would make beautiful wallpaper, wouldn't it? Oh, I could see this. Um, in a small bathroom. 
guest bath. That's really beautiful. Ah, oh, just love it. And here's an, a repeat of, um, man, I don't know, I might even like this one better. These are beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And what a way to be introduced. How lucky am I? What a way to be introduced to some, to the to conservatory, to Anna Marie Horner's conservatory. English summer. It's a serious pattern right there. Really beautiful. And they all, these really do have um, kind of an English feel, don't they? Gosh, you know, and that's, that's bold. I'm looking at this from a design point of view to put certain, you know, these two purples up against each other. You know, somebody has to have some chutzpah to know that this is gonna look right. Really. It's very, very beautiful. Oh, I am love, oh. And you see this kind of color green right here is really on my, um, on my what? I mean, it's on my horizon. I've been very attracted to this. What a beautiful, beautiful color. See, would I have been brave enough? to put that kind of peachy orange in there with those very um, deep and dense colors. I think that just shows mastery and no fear. Just love it, love it. Oh, you see, I would wear a dress made out of it. Well, of course I would, look at this. Isn't this beautiful? I mean, maybe I'll make myself a turban. Oh, and here is that kind of Every one, I keep thinking this might be my favorite. I really do love this. And I mean, it just so happens, look at my room. Look at the art that I've chosen in here. Look at what I'm wearing today. I mean, hello. I don't know about this. This might not make it to a quilt. Thank you, um, Jeff Tax. Thank you, Scott Fortunoff. Thank you, Free Spirit. And Anna Marie Horner, you rock it, girl. And your friends, I don't know who all. I think how this works is um, they've decided on a colorway, do you know? And a bunch of different people have, you know, I'm kind of guessing right here, designed different fabrics. Gee, willikers. I'm always so impressed with artists who who can mix colors in a way that shows, like I said, chutzpah. I mean, that's shocking. Mm, look at these. This. This. I mean... I really like this with the blues in it. I, I mean, I really have to say, this this might be my favorite. And probably because it feels a little safer to me. And, um, you know, I'm looking to step out of my comfort zones. But this just kills it. Anyway, this whole collection, I think, has just... It slays. I love it. I will use these and I will take pictures when I do. It may not be a year from now because I'm slow as molasses, but um, I'm loving these. Thank you so much. I enjoyed playing the, um, the game and I hope to do it again. That doesn't mean I'll win. I mean, it was an international competition. I don't know how I won it, but um, as soon as my fabrics from Peppercory come in, 
because that's a big collection of fat quarters. I will show you those too. Um, please go to my YouTube page and subscribe if you like it. Share it on your page if you like it and introduce your friends to it. Who doesn't love looking at a fabric collection? Anyway, I hope to talk to you soon. Bye.